Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be replacing all these valves. They try to stick too many valves in this valve box here. All the valves see them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven valves. They try to stick all seven valves in this little tiny valve box. So today I'm going to be replacing all these old Toro valves. These are the Toro 264 valves. They were never a good brand back in the day. They, they, they never turn off really. They never, you know, go on. So that's what I'm doing today. This, these valves control all this area here. A lot of zones. I thought if I got all the lines dug out, I can go ahead and cut these cut the main, pull this out, and then redig all this underneath the valves. And then uh, they'll all be clean, ready to go for the new ones. Be back soon. Now that I have everything all dug up, all the pipes exposed, I'm gonna go ahead and put some filter cloth down underneath the valves. This is what's gonna allow the dirt not to go in and cover all the valves with dirt. So I'm gonna put filter cloth in and uh, it'll be a lot better. But I got the manifold made. I connected it to the main. Now I have to connect all the zone valves to each individual valve. I got the filter cloth in. It's gonna be nice and clean. No dirt gets inside. It's a beautiful thing. This is what it looks like when it's all done. Backfilled. Very clean inside. Put the filter cloth in there. Nice and clean, all wired up. Everything's connected. Now I just gotta come back later when the PVC dries a little bit. Don't want that to break on me. It takes a couple hours to dry. But that's it. Another job well done by Stafford Park Drainage and Water Solutions. Here's the old house. Done.